All right. I've got a bunch of Super Chat questions. I, I just want to, I'll do this topic quickly, I think. Um, I, I, I posted, let me see if I can find that. I posted something on, uh, on Twitter that, that relates to this. Um, it has to do with just the attitudes that, that we see out there today that, that exist um, on all sides today. So if I condemn the police for what they did, and if I imply that there might be racism in, uh, among the police, and there might even be some institutions that have historically been racist and there's still real damage from it. So that when I don't completely, completely, com uh, you know, uh, offhand dismiss the idea of systemic racism, I say, well, it's something that needs to be evaluated, and I did a show on that a couple of days ago. But if I complain about uh, police brutality, you know, let's say against blacks, then I'm immediately put into the frame of I'm a leftist and, I'm a, and I'm a, I'm, I, I support the rioters and I support destruction of property and, you know, I'm obviously a bad guy because, you know, I, I, I believe... You know, I believe in this one thing, that if you're on the so-called right, you, you, you can't believe it. Now, I'm not on the right. I've said this many times. I don't believe, I don't believe the right, left. I think those terms have lost their traditional meaning, and we need to move away from them. They're not terms that are worth defending. Um, I'm neither right nor left. I'm a supporter of individual rights and capitalism, which today is neither right nor left, because neither right nor left support that, or even are close to that. Um, the right has completely, completely abandoned those ideas. So if I'm anti-racism in any form and by anybody, well, I must be a racist. If I'm anti-police brutality and abuse, well, I must be a racist. If I'm anti-Trump, sorry, if I'm anti-police brutality and abuse, I must be, I must be a leftist. Anti-racism, I must be a leftist. If I'm anti-Trump, I must be a leftist. If I'm anti the militarization of the police, which we've seen, I must be a leftist. If I'm anti bringing in the, you know, the Marines or the, or the U.S. Army onto the streets of America, I must be a leftist. But then again, if I'm anti-Black Lives Matter and their agenda, I must be on the right. And if I'm anti-riots, I must not care about human life. I must be a racist and on the right. You can't win. I've told you this many times. People seem to think in twos. There's a left and a right. That's it. And here are the ideas that are associated with the left. And here are the ideas associated with the right. And you have to fit into those boxes, those tribal boxes. And that's it. They can't think of somebody who is actually anti-racism in any form and by anybody. Anti-police brutality and abuse. Anti-Black Lives Matter and their agenda. Anti-Trump. Anti-militarization and protest riots. Anti-riots. Anti-bringing in the military. They can't imagine somebody who has all those views that their mind blows up when they think about it. Wait a minute, you, can't, you have to be in this bucket. No, you, can't be, you, can't, you can't have these views. And of course, what unites all of those? What does unite all of those? Anti-racism, anti-police brutality, anti-BLM, anti-Trump, anti-militarization, anti-rights. What unites them all? What is, the, what, what is the positive that unites them all? I'm just pro-individual rights. All of those are direct impl implications of being pro-individual rights. But even, even on the side of the pro, if you, if you frame these things in a positive, they can't hold it, right? So can you be pro-demonstrators who honestly want to fight racism and at the same time be pro-the police who act to protect our rights? Well, you can't be both. 
demonstrated is to demonstrate the police. So you can't be pro-police. Can you be pro-freedom and capitalism as the ultimate solution to racism? And pro-reforms that eliminate victimless crimes? And be pro the police, the ones who act to protect our rights, and pro-demonstrators who honestly want to fight racism? Can, can you hold all that at the same time? Can we please get away, away from right versus left and focus on truth, on principle, on justice, on individual rights? Individual rights no longer belong to the right or to the left. They never did, really. Ayn Rand pointed this out. They each wanted to violate individual rights in different ways. Now they're uniting. They both wanted to violate individual rights in almost all ways. There is nobody protecting individual rights in the economic sphere. There's nobody protecting individual rights in the speech sphere. It used to be the left, no more. So, no. So, again, tribal thinking is not thinking. It's being unthinking. It's lacking independence. Lacking rationality. It's tribal, collectivistic. You got to step away from that. Got to step away from that. All right. What we need today, what I call the new intellectual, would be any man or woman who is willing to think. Meaning, any man or woman who knows that man's life must be guided by reason, by the intellect not by feelings, wishes, whims, or mystic revelations. Any man or woman who values his life and who does not give, want to give in to today's cult of despair, cynicism, and impotence, and does not intend to give up the world to the dark ages and to the rule of the collectivist brute. Using the super chat, and I noticed yesterday when I appealed for uh, support for the show, many of you stepped forward and actually... Uh, supported the show for the first time so i'll do it again maybe we'll get some more today um if you like what you're hearing if you appreciate what i'm doing then i appreciate your support uh those of you who don't yet support the show please take this opportunity go to yourronbookshow.com slash support or go to subscribestar.com your own book show and um and and make a kind of a monthly contribution uh, to keep this uh, to keep this going i'm not sure when the next